Hello everyone. What we're going to do today is we are going to solve some inequalities and then graph them. We're going to start with the example 9x plus 8 is greater than 89. Now the first thing we have to attempt to do is to try to isolate that variable. In other words, we have to get the x all by itself. So what we do is follow the order of operations in reverse whenever isolating a variable. So the first thing we have to do is deal with this addition here. And we do the opposite of that operation. So instead of adding 8, we're going to subtract 8 from the left side of our inequality and do the same thing on the right side of our inequality. 89, take away 8, leaves us with 81. And we drop down our inequality sign. Now, this positive 8 and this negative 8 cancel out on this side, leaving us only with the term 9x. Now, x is not yet isolated. We still have to get rid of this 9. The opposite of 9 times x would be dividing by 9. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by 9. This side divides by itself to give us just 1, but we never write 1 as a coefficient. So that leaves us with only the x. And we drop down our inequality sign, and we have 81 divided by 9, which is 9. Now what we have to do is basically draw a picture, which means we can have any value that is greater than 9. So what we do is we just draw a snapshot of the number line which goes on infinitely to the left and to the right. And I like to make a mark in the middle and just write the number 9 and some numbers above it and a couple numbers below it. And we take our answer 9 and we write a circle right at that location. Now, whenever the inequality sign is greater than or less than, we do not shade in our circle because we want x to be greater than 9. We do not include 9. If there was an equal to sign as part of the inequality, then we would definitely shade this in solid. And on the number line, ask yourselves, where is x greater than 9? We would say x is greater than 9 going to the right. So we just draw an arrow going to the right. Not only have we solved this inequality, we also drew a graph which represents that inequality. Let's take a look at 5x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 18. The first thing we have to do is get rid of this negative 3. And the opposite is adding 3 to both sides of our inequality. These cancel out, which leaves us only with the term 5x. Now we're going to drop down our inequality sign. And then we have to take the sum of negative 18 and positive 3, which is negative 15. Now to further isolate our variable, we do the opposite of multiplying by 5, which is to divide both sides by a positive 5. This side leaves us with only x, bring down our inequality sign, and negative 15 divided by positive 5 is negative 3. So now to graph this inequality, we are going to write negative 3 here. The next number above it is negative 2 and then negative 1. And then going backwards, we have negative 4, and that's good enough for our purposes. You can put a couple more numbers there if you wish, but it's not necessary. Now we're going to put a circle above the number 3. But this time, because of the equal to sign, we have to shade this in solid. And because the values of x not only are equal to negative 3, but less than negative 3, we would say numbers that are less than negative 3 are to the left on our number line. So we would say that the solution for this equation above, or this inequality, is x is less than or equal to negative 3. And this is a graph, which is just a picture, which shows that all values of x are equal to negative 3 or less than negative 3.